How to research a company before investing in their stocks. Evaluating a company is a fundamental part of investing. It is important to have the knowledge of how to identify value in a company and what can be done to evaluate it properly so as not to be caught up in the hype. In order to identify value, it is important to have knowledge about the company and its stock prices. In this video, I will teach you how to research a company before investing in them by taking 10 simple steps. Welcome to Pistocks Galore, the place for those in passionate pursuit of financial freedom. Smash the like button now, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released. In order to conduct a research on a given company and their stock prices, you should do some background reading on them prior to starting your research. After your research is complete, you should be able to build a comprehensive document that includes all of your findings and links back to any sources you have used. A company should be worth more than it costs to run it. If a company loses money, it is usually because its cost of sales outweighs its revenue. This means that the market considers the company too expensive for what it offers and won't pay as much for its shares. Some companies are difficult to research due to lack of information. One of the best way to evaluate a company's stock is to look at the company's fundamentals. Factors that are important include the company's financial performance, their growth rate, how profitable they are, and more. You should try to seek out as much information as possible about the company and understand what they do and how they do it before investing your money. The following 10 steps can help you get started when researching a business before you invest your money in their stock. Step 1. Determine your criteria for investing the company. The first step is deciding why you're investing and what type of return you're looking for. You should determine your criteria for investing that company. If the company has an excellent product, if the product has a loyal following of customers, if the company is growing rapidly, etc., then you may want to invest. The more criteria that are met with this company, the more likely you will be to make a profit on your investment. When it comes to choosing the right investment, there are two primary criteria for investing in the stock market, risk and return. Risk is the probability that your investment will lose its value and return is how much your investment will grow over time. If you are looking to grow your portfolio, then you have two options. You can either invest in riskier investments that have a higher return. However, riskier investments are more likely to lose their value, meaning that your investment will not grow as much as you wish it would. The other option is to invest in safer investments with a lower return but lower risks. Step 2. Research the company's financial statements. Investors have a difficult time evaluating a company's financial status, but it is important to do so prior to investing. A company's financial statements are its most important documents. They let investors know what the company's revenue expenses and net income are. When analyzing a company's financial statements, it is important to understand how to read them and what they mean for the company. It is also important to keep in mind that financial statements will only tell part of the story of a company's performance. One of the things to look out for is to determine whether the company has been consistent in its earnings reports. This is typically known as an EPS, Earnings Per Share or P.E. Ratio, which can be found at websites such as Yahoo Finance. If the P.E. Ratio is high, it indicates that investors are backing the company in their growth process with their money, so it may be worth considering investing in them. You should also look into whether or not the company has been able to keep up with their shareholders' growth expectations and if they have any major upcoming events coming up for investors to attend, such as press conferences or investor meetings. You can track everything from chief executive officers' compensation packages to the latest news about the IPO. With this knowledge, you can then evaluate whether or not it would be worth investing in the stock. A company's stock price can be affected by many factors, such as the health of the economy, how well the company performs in their sector, whether or not they have been able to adapt to changing market demands, etc. In order to maximize success, a company must have sound financials. To assess whether a company is a good investment, investors typically look for a return on their investment. If the company's financials are not readily available online, you can use information from their website or contact the company directly. Step 3. Find the company's stock price history. The company's stock price history will provide you with a detailed analysis of the company's performance over the past years. When investing in a company, the first step is to find the company's historical stock price. This can be done by looking through a list of stocks on a search engine, such as Google. There are many companies that have had successful stock prices throughout the year. It is important for any investor to know how these companies have performed in the past to understand how they will perform in the future. 
The stock market is a complex and ever-changing system. It can be difficult to keep up with the latest financial news and trends, especially if you're not a finance expert. Stock prices fluctuate constantly, so it's difficult to know which investments will pay off in the long run. You can try finding data on companies' stock price history to see if their stocks have been trending upwards or downwards over a certain period of time. Step 4. Find out about the market cap value. The market cap value is a metric used to evaluate the value of stocks. It is calculated by multiplying the number of shares outstanding by the stock price. It can also be calculated by dividing the current share price by the last closing price. It's not only important for business owners to know the market cap value of their company, but also for investors and any other financial institutions who may be interested in investing in the company. To make sure you are investing in a company that will constantly grow and generate more profit, it is important to research the market cap value of the company. Step 5. Find out about return on investment. ROI refers to the percentage of profit a company earns from their investments. This can be calculated by dividing the revenue from sales by the cost of sales. In other words, it's the ratio between what a business earns and what it pays out or invests in something. The formula for ROI changes depending on the type of investment. Whenever a business invests in something, it expects to make a profit. The return on investment is the percentage of profit generated in comparison to the expenditure. In order to get a good ROI, businesses must consider various factors such as how long it takes for their investment to pay off and what results the investment will produce. Step 6. Find out about top 10 investors list in the company. This is a list of top 10 investors that are involved in the company. This list is usually published on the company website, which helps potential investors get more information about the company. However, not many people do read these lists because they are unorganized and the names are not listed in alphabetical order. If you are interested in investing in the company, these names will be helpful to you because investors are the lifeblood of any business. It is crucial for businesses to identify and work with investors who share their vision of the future. The top 10 investors list in any company will provide you with a great insight on the range of investors interested in the company and their varying interests, needs, and investment style. Step 7. Find out the company's targets. You should find out who the company is targeting with their product, what they produce, and where their revenue comes from. Familiarize yourself with their product or service offerings and market position before investing. Researching a company's target market is one of the most important aspects to consider when deciding on whether or not to invest in them. Global companies often offer greater opportunities for investors, but local companies typically provide more security and stability. The best companies will be able to identify their niche and how they can further grow in that space without alienating their clientele or competing with other already established companies in the same sector. Step 8. Research the company's business success over time. This step requires the investor to research the company's business success over time. This will help to understand what has made the company successful and how it is able to thrive in the marketplace. Explore how this company has gone from a startup to a powerhouse. Learn about the company's successes and failures so you can determine whether the company has been a success or failure over time. Look for any signs of corporate misconduct or questionable practices among investment targets. This will help you make an informed decision about whether or not the company is worth pursuing further with your investment. Step 9. Research the company's business sector. The most important step in the process of research is to understand the company's business model, competitors, and where they are headed. This will help you find companies that align with your investment goals. Before finding a company with a promising business to invest in, you'll need to research the company's business sector. This research process includes identifying the key competitors and understanding the market size. It is important that you have a clear knowledge of the company's business sector. Once you have an understanding of the market and what could be the possible challenges in the company's business, you can develop a clearer picture of the risks and rewards of the business. Step 10. Research the company's competition. Research the competition the company faces within its industry or market space. It is crucial to know your competition. Find out what your target company is up against and what its strengths and weaknesses are. If you can uncover information on how other companies in the same industry are presenting themselves, you will be able to develop a better understanding of what your target company offers and how they're positioning themselves as a leader. There are many ways to find companies that are similar to your target business. Online research can be done pretty easily, but some people prefer the more hands-on approach. 
They might do research on companies that are listed on the stock market, or they might even do some personal outreach by contacting the CEO of a company. How do you know when it's time to buy a company's stock? This is a question many people ask themselves and other investors. To answer this question, we first need to understand the relationship between price and value. When you buy a stock at its all-time high, the market expects the stock to keep rising. If it does not, then you can expect it to fall as well. However, if it does rise, then the market will reward you for your foresight and wisdom with a higher price, as well as increased long-term returns on your investment. There are several factors that suggest a company is undervalued, but there are three specific criteria to look for when gauging if a company is worth the investment. In order to figure out whether a company is undervalued, there are three specific criteria that investors should look at. 1. The company's valuation compared to its peers. 2. The financial performance of the investments made by institutional owners. 3. The change in valuations of similar companies for one or two years before and after the current year. Companies that are growing their revenue at a steady rate are ones that are generally worth buying. Most companies typically have high growth rates when they first start, but after a few years, their growth rates might slow down. Investors should be aware of the business cycles in order to make sure they don't buy too early or too late. The best time to invest is when the stock price is low and the company's revenue growth rate looks sustainable. How to find a company's financials and other key data in the public domain? There are multiple ways to find data related to financials of any company. They include searching for keywords and company name on search engines like Google and Bing, scouring for information on companies' websites or annual reports, searching for companies' stock ticker symbol on the internet using tools like Google Finance or Yahoo Finance, looking up a company's historical performance in a database such as FactSet or Bloomer Businessweek, pulling information from an SEC filing document that a company has filed with the SEC under Form 8, you can also look into various other sites that offer information on the companies in question, depending on what your specific needs are. Investopedia.com and MotleyFool.com can give you information on companies in general. Walmine.com is a free website I discovered recently that gives you specific information about most companies traded on the stock market. The information on the site helps you make smarter investment decisions. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button now and subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are released.